Uh, during the off season, how did it feel to play overseas um, and just get back in the room in the basketball once you guys ended your season? Oh, so we had some time off, like one month, I'm pretty sure, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. We just we just took our time. We finished our school, and then some guys just left home to see their families or just to play with their. Uh, national teams. Personally, I didn't play, but I went home for, for four weeks and came back. I was uh, here uh, all summer, just working out, just getting better. And uh, now I'm here. We're kind of practicing with the team now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And what were those work like, workouts like for you? What, what were you personally working on during that time? I was working on my defense. I did a lot of leg work on the court, like defensive stance and stuff, and then I'm still working on my shot. I want to shoot more threes during the games. And, uh, yeah, just defense and shooting pretty much. With the shot, the three-point shot, is there any fundamental thing that you change, or is it the same shot, just rep the repetitiveness of it? Oh, I, my technique, maybe like, Changed a little, a little bit, but it's just like lots of reps. That's it. I know you and Umar did some boxing classes during the off season. What was that like for you? Had you ever done anything like that? Yeah, I never did boxing before, but we had like a few boxing classes. It was fun. It's kind of hard. They thought that that boxing is always like you know. You just need to punch a guy and that's it. But mm -hmm. no, like your arms get tired like in five minutes. Like it's so weird. How much of that is is footwork and cardio in boxing? Oh, the footwork is pretty hard. I think it's way harder than in basketball. You need to know when to turn and when to switch your leg position. But yeah, like conditioning wise, it's pretty hard to work sweating in 10 minutes and then we needed to keep going because that coach was pretty he was pushing us and stuff mm -hmm. uh, Umar mentioned when he brought up that that it was coach uh, Ricky that brought that idea to you guys when he first heard that what was your initial reaction oh we were I don't know I was kind of excited yeah I don't remember how the go was but but I was excited and they couldn't wait to, to go there how does that footwork that you mentioned being more difficult than basketball that you felt, how does that work on the basketball court for you? What can you take from that? Oh, it's just uh, in boxing, I needed to remember like what footwork I need to do, like where I need to stand like uh, correctly. And now I'm using it in basketball, for example, when I'm posting up, you know, like I need to remember like what to do, like I need to have a plan before I do a move, so that's really helpful. Is part, is part of the boxing thing, because I know a lot has been talked about toughness, I think the toughness, Umar, everybody, I know that was one of the main takeaways at the end of the season. Does that help with that kind of up toughness yeah, for this upcoming yeah. season? Yeah, we were tough, but in marriage minus we just, I uh, know. Serious? It wasn't us, you know, but now now I think we're tough again. Mm -hmm. We're competing in practices, everyone is punching each, mm -hmm. each other. Sometimes we just need to stop, you know, and, and take a break. But now we're good, now we're tough. Yeah. And what stood out to you about the incoming freshmen and just seeing them through these first couple practices? What, what's one of the things that stick out to you? Yeah, and I understand it's pretty hard for them. I was in their position. I was a freshman. I didn't know what to do and stuff. But uh, yeah, they're doing a pretty good job. They're learning. They're doing a lot of mistakes, but it's normal. Because if you want to do mistakes, you, you wouldn't be able to to learn, you know, so you need to do mistakes, and yeah, yeah, they're pretty good guys, and I'm proud of them. And we saw Cedric put the chain on you just now, how's that relationship going? I don't know, I never wore, wore, wore a chain like that, so I don't know how it goes, it's really interesting. What are, what are those additions like, having Cedric and Courtney on the team now? Yeah, so the older guys, they know what's going on, they're like our leaders of the car, they... One hand, I don't know. The they just, they great guys. For example, Courtney, 
He played in Texas for four years. He knows how to play tough because he played in tough conference. So, I mean, his defense is insane. So we'll we'll use that as an as an advantage as an advantage during the game. What are your individual goals this year? Individual goals? Yeah, like all conference, all American. What do you What do you want? What are you looking for from yourself? Oh. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't. I don't know. When I came from Europe, we didn't have that stuff, you know, like the player of the year and stuff. So I don't really care. I just I care about the team. But the first goal is to win in Maui, then back 12. You know that stuff. Um, I have a question. You know, um, being being the being the um, um, starting center for this team, how do you feel this year? Do you feel like you're just gonna be the, just like that? You're gonna dunk on everybody and everything? Yeah, I said, go man, dunk everything and give you. Giving you all the assists as possible, you know. So I'm just gonna be there for you. you know? I've heard a couple of things with the grapevine that pound for pound, um, Cedric Henderson is stronger than you. That not is true? not true. That's a cap. Oh. And then we, we're done oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it like to have Cedric on the team? You have him join the squad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm glad he's here, man. Cedric's a, a fun man. He, he always show up every day, smiling. And do what he has to do for himself and for the team. We have not to have him in the Not only Cedric, but all the incoming guys, freshmen, transfers, what's it like seeing them grow and be a part of this program? Wow, it's, it's amazing. Honestly, like if, if you see like Henry and, and Dylan, their first week here. Henry first workout, he was about to faint. And, and, and from he, for me seeing him from that moment to now where he go, Talk to talk to talk against me, just like I'm just super glad the jump that those guys are making and they're just gonna help us down the road. Were you surprised how quickly Henry picked stuff up? I was actually was he he's a really smart dude, you know, he he loves to listen and he loves getting coached. Like every time I talk to him about something, he listened to me and he does the way that I saw him or told me talk to him and He's, he's a great learner. A lot of European players kind of get the, oh, they're soft thing, but during the red and blue game, we saw him really doing a lot of work down in the paint. Can you just talk about the toughness that he I mean, Henry is just a, he's just a different person, you know. He's long, thin, he's tough, he's like a soft guy. Mm -hmm. He plays on his own pace, he has so, much, so many ways he can get to a ring, score the ball, shoot other guys, catch the lobs, and done pretty easy. So. During the off season, how much of the time did you spend in the weight room? Just I'm like working out? Me, I spent a lot of time lifting heavy, heavy weights. Been, been a long, long time. What is, what is your max in terms of that you've got? I think I did a couple of reps of 245. Okay. And what's, how do you think that's going to help you out on the court? I mean, first of all, I did a lot of uh, lower body legs, heavy, really heavy on my legs. Help me to have good feet and, and my leg don't get tired. And, and it's just going to help me, uh, you know, to run faster, move better, jump higher. Part of, I think, your offseason was boxing classes, if I'm correct. Yeah. And we kind of saw that out in the red and blue game. You're kind of playing off the dribble a lot more than you did last season. How much of that is footwork that the boxing taught you that we can take that really back? Helped. We did a like, couple of weeks uh, going to do boxing. First, the beginning was really tiring, you know, but like, as, uh, as I get, you know, going more and more often. And, become having fun and you know, so it helped me a lot with my work and so yeah, <laughs> when Coach Ricky brought that idea up to you, I got Azulis to stake, he was like, okay let's try it. What what were your initial thoughts when he said box? I mean I was man that's crazy. Like boxing has nothing to do with boxing. Like why are we going to do boxing? <laughs> Just go try one and then we'll talk about it. And I went there it was really fun. And the coaches that were like uh, teaching us he was a he was a good guy. And it was tiring, but it was really I know you're both busy, uh, Coloco and yourself, you know, during the off season. But how much do you talk to in this off season, getting I prepared love, for this year? I love. I, I talk to Coloco, Ben, uh, 
them like pretty much like earlier days. You know, those are my partner, my partner, DT, Jackson, they're all my guys. I'll make sure to keep in contact with them because, you know, this is a family. And I care about each single of those guys. What was his biggest piece of advice as you're moving into this role? I mean, he, he always told me that this year going to be like one of the hardest years of my life. It's a, a, a big year, a big, big responsibility. And also, uh, uh, it's not something that was given to me. I work really hard for this, and, and, and I think it's time for me to, to take this role and do just as much as it is. You talk about development and all that. Think about Umar from Gonzaga and to where you are now. Like, the, different person. Yeah, like, what different. surprises you the most? My work ethic. You know, at Gonzaga, I was, I was working out really hard, but, you know, it, it's just a different place and different environment. And, you know, when you find yourself in some tough spot, sometimes it just makes you feel like really down and sometimes get lost in the way, like, the reason why you're suffering the beginning. And we all have those tough times, you know. But to overcome from them is, is, is a really hard thing. And, and I'm glad I got an opportunity to start over and come here and change everything and, and, and be here today. How, lastly, um, I know you guys lost a lot to the NBA draft, but you have a lot of talent back. You still kind of take an underdog mentality, kind of like you did always, last always. season. Always, like, you know, guys, people always sleep on us, you know, and and, and and no one knows what we'll be doing on the court and off the court. Like we know we have a good team, and and for us, we don't need to go out to talk about it. You know, we just let our record statistics talk for us. So, so hopefully, when the season starts, we'll break a lot of people out who were like sleeping. What has it been like for you now that you've had a full year underneath Coach Lloyd's system and what are some of the things you've been working on? Um, I've been working on my shot a lot uh, since I got here with Coach Tommy and I feel it's been better. But other than that, I feel like um, Tommy was really on me to play hard, to play defense, to rebound the ball and I feel like I really got better in this. Going back to that UCLA game. Get, you get to be able to go into that game with two big shots and that guy. What, what was that moment like for you getting those shots? Um, yeah, that was pretty special. I mean, uh, tell me, um, let me play a little bit more of the, the game before this game. Mm -hmm. So when he got me into that, he just told me that, yeah, you're ready for it. And obviously, you see, it's a really good team, does a very really big game. And then, yeah, I just came in confident. Yeah, I just came in confident. And, um, Tommy helped me to that, my team is too, and yeah, yeah, that was pretty special. What was the one thing that stuck out to you during your first year of college? What was the one takeaway that you got from that year? Uh, just, I don't know if take away, but you just like, you know, we always have to be positive. You know, you always have to see the great side of, you know, whatever you're going through, and I think that really helped me, you know, once, once I had that mentality, it all changed. When you look at yourself as a guard, where do you think the area that you progressed the most over the last year and a half? Um, I feel like um, I got better as a, as a playmaker. You know, I was playing point guard when I was in France, but still, you know, I, I had to learn a lot of things with custom system, and I really feel like I just got better in the playmaking stuff and even with the shooting stuff. You know, yeah. How much of that is working with a guy like Coach Ricky and, and just getting in the gym every day? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the big reasons I've came here for, you know, because I know that, you know, here they have a player, you know, every coach you know what you have to work on and, you know, so, yeah, it's just that um, we get every, every day in the gym working out and, you know, we have some good coaches around, so it's, it's something to get. When you guys added a guy like Courtney Ramey and Cedric Henderson, they seem to bring a lot of leadership from the previous programs they're at. What have they brought to you in terms of helping you along? Uh, I feel like, like you said, the leadership, the experience, you know, you have a guy like, uh, most of these guys, I played like more than three years in college basketball, so they know the game, and you know, they, we all take a lot of advice for them because they have experience, and they know how it's done. 
do you have any expectations for yourself this season, some goals that you're trying to achieve? Mm, I just said the mention, you know, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to, to play heartily every time I get on the court and, you know, I'm just, yeah, like I said, have fun. Have fun, enjoy basketball, you know. That's a really fun game, it's really fun to play here in the U.S., here in Macau, so enjoy every game every practice. You seem like somebody that is probably going to have an expanded role this season compared to last year. How do you go about handling those expectations? Um, always, like I said, um, I'm, not, I'm going to have a bigger role, but it don't really change a lot of things. You know, we just you know, we just have to come in the group the same way as I did when I had the chance last year. Just coming to uh, with confidence and. Just to, to play, you know, to have fun, to make play for my teammates, to find a good shot, you know, and that's how I get done. And I feel like it's how, um, that's how I can play better and be a, a better player. Has anybody, any of the freshmen kind of kind of stood out to you on how quickly they pick things up? Uh, yeah, i say Henry. Henry impressed me, but all of them, all of them. All of them, by the way, I was really surprised by all of them. Uh, Philip, Henry, and uh, Dylan, yeah, like they, they've been putting the work, and we can really see it through the through the weeks, you know, the week I got here, and as of now, you know, they don't even look like the same players. So, yeah. What's the biggest piece of advice you can give them after being in their position not so long ago? Yeah, yeah, like I say, just be patient and be positive. You know, I'm trying to talk to them uh, every day about it, you know, because I've already been through the same experience just uh, six months ago. So yeah, just be positive. Uh, never give it because you never know when your time is coming, so always be ready.